Naja Nuru is a teenage girl who lives with her parents at number 13, Musabawa Lane, off Ishaku, Chetubo Street, New Carol in Abuja. Her account is the tale of a little girl's display of unbelievable audacity at the risk of being killed. Naja is from a comfortable family and her father owns a pool of exotic cars that are displayed in their house. One night, some robbers jumped the wall to gain access into the house with the aim of stealing from one of the cars. Naja was up late that night, as it was her usual practice. That night, she stayed awake studying, and suddenly she heard strange noises and the sound of keys. Naja stood up from her bed and looked towards the direction of the strange noises. To her utmost amazement, Naja noticed two robbers trying to force open one of the cars. She fought back the urge to go and alert her father as she felt any slight noise from inside the house might draw the attention of the thieves who believed that the occupants of the house were all fast asleep. Spurred by God, Naja came out of the house and went straight to confront the robbers. The two men trying to force the car door open became frozen with their mouths wide open as if they had just seen a real ghost. But they quickly came back to their senses and one of them ordered Naja to go down on her knees and not make any sound or he would smash a skull. The little girl summoned boldness and told the robbers that her father had shot a thief the previous day and he was about to shoot them. She urged them to drop their weapons and bend down because her father was at the window aiming his gun at them that any attempt to scamper in escape would cause her father to shoot them. The robbers were so terrified that they complied with Naja and dropped their weapons. At that point, Naja picked up the weapons and ran inside, shouting for help. Immediately, her father and her uncle ran outside and apprehended the robbers as they made to escape. My name is Naja Nuhualmasi. I'm 13 years old. At night, I usually wake up to study my books. So I heard some strange sounds of keys and footsteps. When I was in the room studying my books, then I peeped through the window and saw two robbers quite armed. So I was confused on what to do. I wanted to go and report it to my dad, but I thought any slight noise might attract the robbers and they might try to escape. So instead, I told the Holy Spirit to help me on what to do. A boldness came into me and I went out to confront the robbers. Okay, I'm Sariki Ibrahim al -Masi. Okay, on that fateful night, while we were asleep, we had a scream. Naja screamed, so with that, we are so anxious, we rushed out. So he said, oh, they are thieves, they are thieves. So that was how he called the policeman. When we arrested them, we handed them over to the police. I'm Linus Ando Nagua by name, uh, community police in New Carroll. Early this year, uh, April, uh, my neighbor called me at about uh, 2 a.m. that uh, they were uh, attacked by armed robbers. Um, uh, they trapped them down before I came. So when I came, we were able to take them to police station. 